Samsung's latest Note 7 debacle has been in the headlines for many weeks now. The shocking defect that brought the flagship model down has raised some concerns about a number of fundamental issues. Shin Zemin breaks down what Samsung must do to pick up the pieces and bounce right back up. It was only on store shelves for 54 days. Samsung's Galaxy Note 7, after taking on the market with impressive new features, quickly became a blemish on the world's number one smartphone maker. The company's unending rivalry with Apple, combined with Chinese manufacturers churning out cheaper handsets, has turned into a neck-and-neck -neck race in an already oversaturated market. Samsung's Galaxy Note 7 debacle has raised concerns over a number of issues. Does the world's number one smartphone maker have what it takes to develop top quality devices full to the brim with all the latest features? No doubt it does, says a professor of computer engineering. If you look at the hardware, Samsung Electronics is in the lead. No other smartphone maker in the world has ever tried to put together features like an iris recognition camera, waterproof ability, combined with better storage and better batteries. While he suggests more time spent thoroughly testing its safety aspects, some market watchers say they're confident Samsung will bounce back. Elliott Management, an activist hedge fund with shares in Samsung, is sure the company remains a leading global player in tech and has a, quote, world-class brand. Looking ahead, some say Samsung could do more to appeal to its customers. At the moment, it needs to take a softer approach in the sense that uh, I think we haven't really seen them um, really apologizing much to consumers or compensating more uh, above and beyond, I mean, just beyond the cost of the Galaxy Note 7. So I think that that's something that's lacking at the moment. And I think that um, to actually address this issue, they actually need to show that softer and compassionate side of them to show that they are really sorry to consumers that this has happened and to assure them that this will not happen again. She says that Samsung might also want to shift focus from its technical abilities to improving product durability. And though the fire safety fiasco has been one of Samsung's most trying predicaments to date, eyes are on the world's number one handset maker to make a comeback with its next offering. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.